mango tree. Built it on the family farm. It should be ready in a couple of months. So if you're in the Mount Tomlin area, north of New South Wales, come and get some mangoes uh, February. If we've got any left, because we'll probably fucking eat them all. Personal life on YouTube eventually becomes public life. This is a video I didn't really want to make. I thought I'd never have to make uh, until last year I was found out that I actually do have a son. In 1997, I did uh, get someone pregnant and she got in contact with me last year in uh, I think about February 2014. Uh, you, some of you in the community do know that uh, Brooke, uh, my son, he looks very similar to me. Saying, it's like spitting images. First time we did videos, I was like, is that your son? And I denied it because I felt really awkward that I've been saying I'm child free, etc. But I actually do have a son. So I guess that this was post vasectomy, hang on, pre vasectomy, 1997. I got my vasectomy in 2005. So that's the thing, guys. Like you never know. You might fuck someone, have a bit of fun or whatever. Condoms break, or people forget to take pills, or they don't want to take a pill. They want to have a kid or whatever. Just shit just fucking happens, and kids fucking happen. I'm not saying book shit, but <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. But shit happens, and so I can relate to a lot of parents out there. They say, you know, you say your kids don't. Don't tell them to send them to school, get them on YouTube. Well, Brooke's doing pretty good on YouTube now, isn't he? So I do walk my talk, and the standard school system is pretty shit. Brooke said, you know, what should I do? Should I stay in school? And I said, dude, school's for fools. If you want to be a YouTuber, man, get on YouTube and bang it out. And he's doing all right, isn't he? So he's had 42 million views on his vlog channel. A lot of fuckers aren't laughing now, just from, uh, and that was just from April on this year. So I just said, dude, you got to work hard. If you want to be out of school, your mum wants you in school. We had a lot of altercations. I said, look, this is how it is. You know, she didn't understand that, but I said, look how much money I'm earning, look how much money Brooke's earning now. I just went to a holiday for Bali with his girlfriend in Dira, so you can do it. So school is good, but the reality is, kids, you've got to work out what you want to do in life. And if you want to be a YouTuber, you can make it happen, but you have to fucking work for it. Simple as that. So that's why I'm encouraging Brooke to also get a vasectomy. Yeah, he's only 18, but he doesn't want to have kids either. So I'm saying, Brooke, get your nuts chopped. Even Vegan Gaines just had his vasectomy uh, yesterday. Yeah, so post comments about that so I do have a kid but I wouldn't put him through the school system anymore and now that I found out I was like dude you gotta get out of school fuck school off blah 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 and I get on YouTube you any questions down below I'm sure I can make some follow up videos because a lot of people are gonna give me shit about this one but uh, yeah that's the reality man life happens shit happens so here is Brooke my bastard child on TV Teenager who's become a YouTube sensation 17 year old Brooke Roberts set up his own channel devoted to cheeky pranks and even Brooke admits he's been stunned by the results hey guys today I'm conducting a social experiment with my younger brother Bailey this will consist of him walking up to strangers and asking for a lighter I hope you enjoy it excuse me uh, can I borrow a lighter yeah of course thanks here we go thank you an Adelaide teenager has become a YouTube sensation, uploading pranks on unsuspecting members of the public for the world to see. But critics aren't laughing. 17-year-old Brooke Roberts has plenty of fans on YouTube. I'm at 44,000, so and ho I'm hoping by the end of the year I'll get to that 100,000 mark. The Year 11 student regularly uploads pranks pulled on members of the public around Adelaide. <laughs> Every time you go out, you're going to get a new reaction, no matter what it is. But not everyone's clicking like. I've been in trouble with the, the police on several times, and they've, um, they've let me go. Experts say the videos aren't funny at all. It's a fucking joke, man. 